our upper room reading for Tuesday, November the 24th, is entitled, All God's Children. Our suggested scripture reading today is the 22nd chapter of Matthew, verses 34 through 40. And our focus verse comes from the book of Galatians, the third chapter, and the 28th verse. There is no longer Jew nor Greek. There is no longer slave or free. There is no longer male and female. For all of you are one in Christ Jesus. In the mid-1950s, I was a teenager working with some men loading turkeys for the upcoming Thanksgiving holiday. We worked hard putting the turkeys in crates and loading them on trucks. Then we stopped to go to town for lunch. We all sat down at one big table, but the man who owned the restaurant came to us and said, I can't serve that black man who is with you. He will have to eat in the back. I asked, why? Lafayette has been working with us all morning. The owner replied, he can't eat in here. We asked the restaurant owner if we could all eat in the back together. When he said yes, we all moved to the back room. That encounter upset me and has stayed with me all my life. Paul wrote in Galatians 3.28 that we are all one in Christ. We are black, white, and a lot of other shades in between, and God created all of us. Knowing this and remembering Jesus' commandment in Matthew 22, 37-39, shouldn't we all go out of our way to treat one another with love and respect. After all, we are all children of God. Our thought for the day, anytime I see discrimination against one of God's children, I will speak up. Shall we pray? Dear God, help us to recognize discrimination and to go out of our way to treat one another with the love you have given us. Amen. And our prayer focus today is victims of racism. 